Hi guys, now today I'm coming to you from MSC World Europa, which is one of the newer ships from MSC Cruises. Now today in this video, I'm going to give you a full detailed room tour of a standard balcony cabin. So if you are planning a cruise on World Europa or one of the future sister ships, for example, World America, what type of experience can you expect from booking a standard balcony? Now, the room that we're going to look at today is up on deck 14 of the ship, which is one of my favourite locations because you're entirely surrounded by other cabins. You need to be really careful when you book on this ship because there's quite a few areas where you may find that you're directly below a galley or you're directly above a public venue. So make sure that you head over and check out my other video, which will be coming on soon, looking at the best places to book or the places to avoid if you are planning to book a cabin on MSC World Europa. But look, if you find this video useful, I'd really, really appreciate it if you think about liking the video, which you can do by hitting the thumbs up underneath. And also, it'd be great if you would subscribe to the channel. It'd be brilliant to have you along on the journey as we explore more ships together this year. But look, let's get out into the corridor, get along to this other room, and let me show you around a standard balcony on MSC World Europa. Okay, so the cabin that we are going to look at today, guys, is a standard balcony cabin. Now, this is the most common type of balcony that you'll find on MSC World Europa. From a size point of view, this cabin is usually between 16 and 17 square metres. So it's not a huge space, but hopefully you'll agree that it's pretty clever what they've managed to do with what they've got. Now, you'll notice that when you first come into the cabin, you've got the bed area with a large mirror directly opposite. Now, on either side of the bed, you've got these bedside lamps, which feature a side lamp, a reading lamp, and then directly down between the two on switches, you've got a USB charger. Now, underneath them, you've then got a bedside table on either side, and then on the bed itself, you've got a little bit of information about the pillows. So, MSC provides you with a soft pillow, a slightly firmer pillow, and then you've got the option to select from the pillow menu. Now, that pillow menu isn't presented to you when you check into your cabin, unless you're staying in Yacht Club. So just make sure that if you do want to view that, you speak to your cabin attendant as early as you can in your cruise. Now from a storage point of view, I've never ever struggled with storage in an MSC cabin. You can see that you've got your drawers at the bottom, your shelves all the way up to the top, and then on the other side if we open that here, you've got more shelving at the top, followed by your full length storage and a little shoe rack down at the bottom. So yeah, plenty of space certainly for one. Not sure if I had more than two people in this cabin how I'd find it, but yeah, I find it totally fine for one and I'd imagine perfect for two. Now you've then got the sofa over here, which usually can be turned into a bed. And then directly opposite the sofa, you've got your workstation. So you've got some shelves on the left hand side, which are always useful. You've then got your TV, which is on a spin bracket. So you can rotate that so that it's more facing the bed or more facing the sofa. And then you've got your various bits of paperwork that we won't go into, followed by your cabin phone. Now underneath you've got your charging point, so you've got two USB, two European and two US as well. So for a, a cruise ship cabin, pretty well equipped from a charging point of view. Now underneath the desk you've got your minibar or your fridge. I always say get your cabin sure to empty that on day one, then you can use it yourself. You've then got a large drawer underneath which is ideal for laptops or whatever. You've got your hairdryer in the top. This is cool, you've got your safety deposit box in that drawer, I've never seen a safe fitted to a box like that, or fitted to a drawer like that, and you've then got an empty drawer down at the bottom. Now if we move over past this big mirror on the left, you've got another mirror on the right hand side, so there's no excuse for leaving this cabin not ready for the night. <laughs> and then you've got three hooks on the left hand side, they're really really useful for things like lanyards, things like hats, things like belts that you just need to keep handy. You've then got your air conditioning. Now I found the air conditioning on this ship to be really quite quiet. You've got your do not disturb and also your makeup room signs. Now when you press them, they illuminate little lights on the outside of the door. So just make sure the, the right one is selected when you leave. Now going into your bathroom, this is probably my favorite part and I'm quite vocal about this. My favorite part of these new MSC ships, I just think the bathrooms are finished so, so well. Now, if we go into the shower and have a look, you've got your detachable shower with your bar mixer down the bottom. You've then got your MSC branded toiletries which are on the wall. I find them to be pretty decent quality. So you've got a shampoo and a shower gel, so it's worth noting you don't have a conditioner there. And then you've got a pull across washing line. Not the biggest, but fine if you just need to wash a few things through or hang up towels. And the big one, 
no shower curtain so you're not going to shower with a curtain repeatedly getting stuck to you which which is yeah, a big big win now you've then got that little mirror if you want to get a closer look at any point and then let me show you what you're really paying the money for with this cabin which is your balcony and therefore your ocean view now before we go out here you've got a light on one side of the door which i'll spin around and show you in a little second so you've got your light there out on the balcony and you've also got a child lock so if you've got little ones in the room that you don't want going out there then you just slide that across and hopefully they can't reach that to then open the door now going out here you've got if you've never cruised before you might think this looks quite small but this is a fairly typical sized balcony for a cruise ship so you've got your two sit down chairs and also rather than a table you've got a footrest here but you do have various things that you could bring out from the cabin to serve as a table now you've obviously got that amazing view it's worth noting that that top deck hangs quite far over some of the cabins so just make sure if you're looking for sunshine you're booking a balcony that's low enough down to not get a shadow from that top deck but that's just a a fairly common feature with how big these mega ships can be the top decks need to be huge to accommodate the number of people but hey that's a really quick fly around a standard balcony cabin on msc world europa let me know what you think would you cruise in a cabin like this or would you rather go for a different cabin type thanks for watching guys bye